and six. Harden, 34 points, 12 assists, six rebounds. So they've scored or assisted on 84% of the Nets' points in their first two games together in Brooklyn. 208 out of 247, both victories. And they've picked it up in the fourth quarter in both wins. The pair has scored or assisted on 61 of the Nets' 69 fourth quarter points. As you'd expect, Steve Nash, good coaching. Get it to your best players. Harden now in his second partnership go-around with KD. We were young uh, in Oklahoma City. You know, we're, we're grown men now. You know, we know what we want. We know, we really know the game of basketball now. Um, you know, we're not those young guys that just run around and want to just shoot and, and dunk all day. We know the games. We know spots. We know, you know, teams, players. We just, we're more advanced. Um, and then for me, you know, as I sit back, I know what type of player Kevin Durant is. You know, he's one of the best players that ever touch a basketball. Uh, as God given, you know, seven foot can basically do everything. So for me, uh, it's not trying to compete with that. It's allowing Kevin to be the best Kevin he can be. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that I can make him better and then make my teammates better. Um, because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I feel as though we're, like you said, we've been in the league uh, for his James' 12th year, or yeah, my James' 12th year, my 14th season. So we've pretty much seen every defense, every offensive scheme. We've been in every type of game, playoffs, game sevens, you know. So we've been through a lot in this league, experienced a lot. And um, for us to bring it together now and, and, and combine what we've learned over this time, and try to play great basketball, I think it was pretty seamless for us. You know, it was an easy transition, especially uh, with James, you know, handling the ball a lot coming in. So uh, we, we still trying to, you know, find our way and, you know, we still got room to improve, uh, but it's a solid start. Still joining us now to talk more about James Harden's debut. Listen, David, a lot of people were having fun online talking about what kind of shape he might be in. The memes were good, okay? We got to say that. The memes were really good. However, he looked just fine. He looked better than fine. He had a triple-double. What were your takeaways from this contest? Well, that was the first one. The guy walked in the gym with a new team who already has stars and expectations and studs and got a triple-double. He handled the ball most of the time down the stretch and made all of the big decisions. They played a two-man game with he and KD. Uh, he looked comfortable. The team looked comfortable, and that was what really stood out. It looked like they had been playing together for multiple games already. And you talk about down the stretch there where he had that ball. When Kyrie Irving comes back in the mix, I mean, these guys all have to learn how to play together. But when Kyrie comes back, another ball-dominant guy, how do you see that working out? I think the biggest thing is going to be time of possession. Can they just limit the dribbles a little bit? They still have to be who they are. Attack you know, make plays off the dribble, break people down off the dribble, but can they shorten it one or two seconds? That really stood out to me with James tonight. You didn't see him over dance tonight. When he didn't have it, he made a play, got off of it, especially the one late where he scooped it to KD. He saw KD had Vucevic on him. KD drove it, kicked it to Brown in the corner, big trust play, and he hit the shot, knocked it down, and I think that's gonna be something they have to bottle up. Well, KD and Harden combining for 74 points in this game. You add Kyrie in the mix. These guys could be going for 100. That trio on a nightly basis, it is going to be a fascinating experiment to watch. My man, scary for other teams. Thank you, David. Thanks for having me. All right, I'm going to Chubius. The Nets win. 122-115. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, I mean, I hope you can tell by my smile and, and my play. Whoever has a hot hand, um, that's who, who deserves the ball. You know, the, the, the basketball finds energy. It finds people that have good energy, good spirit. So uh, that's what I try to bring to the game tonight. I'm so excited for Kai to get back. You know, he's, he's a you know, key piece to what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, the chemistry, as soon as we can build that, um, as soon as we can be on the court together, it's going to be scary hours. Hey, man, it was scary here. It was historic. Most points scored and assisted in a team debut in NBA history. Just last season, Kyrie Irving scored, created 67 points, 50 of which he scored in his debut with the Nets. Harden scored or assisted on 64 points in his debut with the Rockets back in 2012. He had 37 points, 12 assists, and a win against the Pistons. And then in his Nets debut, Harden scored or assisted on 63 points, third most all-time. He becomes the first player in NBA history with a 30-point triple-double in his debut with the team. Our research, it's better than yours.
David Fisdale suiting up for us. And coach, uh, James Harden looked great. It's one game. It's minus one head of the big three. So what can we take away from it? He looked pretty good. Uh, I don't have any questions about his conditioning. I'll tell you that. Houses. Most think these are the two teams to beat in the East. Giannis back and forth early. Both teams playing well. Brooklyn up nine. Durant puts the moves on Middleton. Under two to play. Tied at 119. Drew Holiday. Giannis is there for the follow-up. Greek Freak with 34. Harden can't hit the three. But Durant. Nets up two. <clears throat> Final chance for Milwaukee. Middleton. Can't get it to go. Harden and Durant combined for 64 points. Nets win a thriller 125 to 123. Lakers will be playing the Bucks on Thursday night. Uh, both these teams are probably the two teams that everyone thinks will be there at the end for the East. Uh, trying to get a shot at whoever comes out of the West. Uh, what what do you like so far with with James Harden on the Nets? We haven't seen Kyrie yet. It's gonna be Harden. fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, to that watch. team's gonna be tough. It's gonna be fun to watch. And you know, Steve Nash's biggest challenge is how does he make that work? I mean, you got three offensive powerhouses. How is the defense going to work? How are the role players going to fit in there? It's still yet to be seen. But what we have seen thus far, uh, without Irving, yeah, uh, they're just problem. just Harden and KD alone, man. That's that's 60 to 70 points a game, yeah. potentially. It's going to be nice to watch and yeah. challenging to defend. I'm glad I don't have to defend those guys right now. I think the one thing we've all <clears throat> talked about along with that question, but we've all also talked about, is how elite of an es a score James Harden has been, that his assists, his ability to facilitate mm -hmm. gets overlooked. And when you watch the Brooklyn Nets, these first two games with him in there, his willingness to give up the rock. Um, is there. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, I mean, you're thinking about it, and of the three of them, he's the only one who has yet to win. And he's gotten to this point. He's got the scoring titles. He's got the MVP. One of the big reasons why it was said that he wanted out of Houston was to win. Yeah. So will he ultimately make that sacrifice that is needed? And right now, dishing the rock yeah, and being he, that guy uh, is what he's playing up to. Lakers went 1-1 one one against the Bucks last year, lost in Milwaukee. Beat them right before lockdown in March at Staples Center. Uh, Drew Holiday, great addition for that Bucks team. Giannis, still, we'll see what happens in the playoffs. He's, he has to become that guy that can have the ball in his, in his hands in the fourth quarter. So we'll see. All right, more to come on Access. Dennis Schroeder. It's going to change when Kyrie Irving returns. But for now, it's Giannis, KD, and Harden sharing the floor. All those guys have an MVP award. Really, Giannis and KD, they're like garden vertical snakes in there. Their last game, Harden Durant scored or assisted on 107 of 122 points, and they were dominant, as you would imagine, again in this one. There's Harden driving. He can get his own. Iso ball, Durant, he can get his own. Tough check for Chris Middleton. Playing off each other. Durant in transition. Got a wall of defenders. All right. Beat Harden. He'll get through there. A little foul hunting. Doesn't get it, but he gets the bucket.